News 46 is brought to you in part by... It actually was a controlled burn, but this is a perfect example of burning beyond the scope of the ordinance. The intent was not to, to create humongous piles of natural waste vegetation and light it off in a simultaneous fashion, which produces enough smoke and flame that can be viewed throughout our 365 square miles. So a very good example of what not to do. Uh, clearly was beyond the scope of the ordinance, but also is beyond the management of any one individual with a garden hose. Uh, today alone, we dumped about 7,000 gallons of water on this fire to, in order to control it. Uh, as you saw, it was closely uh, placed propane tank. It was in close proximity to a structure. And so a, a lot of the ingredients could have been disastrous here today. But fortunately for us, the weather conditions are right. There's no wind. And uh, we were able to come in and quickly extinguish it. What are the chances of it spreading and getting out of control? You know, given any natural conditions such as a uh, you know, dust devil, if it were that time of year, or just a good gust of, of wind, as you can see, the property is tree-lined. It could easily have extended to that or to a nearby structure. How big or small should these uh, uh, piles be? We could try to give the, the best guys to use a up to your knees, small manageable piles. As that one pile starts to burn down, then you can add material to it to sustain it. But don't light off a huge pile uh, such as what we have viewed here today. It's extremely dangerous, number one, and, and no one person can manage that with a garden hose. But small manageable piles, use your knee as a height reference. And if you keep it with the, the context of like three to four square feet, I think you'd be in real good shape. And of course, using an, an accelerant is a no-no. Yeah, you should never use an accelerant for a number of different hazards. When you first ignite it, it could come back with all the vapors and cause physical harm to you. Uh, number two is in keeping close proximity of those materials, whether they're ignitable fluids or they're uh, gases, such as we saw here today. That, in, in turn, is another dangerous aspect, which we don't want to have to deal with.